doing well welcome back to another video so due to popular demand i am back in this little setup again filming today now as you guys know if you watched my last primark haul i ended up filming in my kitchen last video because i had issues with my ring light but you guys all absolutely love the little setup and i can see why because i've got all my christmas decor out got the tree in the background it does make a really cute setup it is just a lighting because i have little spotlights under here it makes me look almost really washed out and a bit yellowy too but anyway you guys seem to not be bothered about that and really did like the setup so yeah i thought i would come back here today to film my gift guide guys finally getting around to film this gift guide i feel like i've had so much of this gift guide stuff for the longest time it's just been sat in my spare room but yeah i was just waiting on a few things and they finally arrived so i know some of you might have already done your christmas shopping but i know loads of people probably haven't as well because you know when you've got full-time jobs when you are a working mom and just busy it's not always that easy to be super organized and get all your christmas shopping done so this is for any last minute people anyone that hasn't done their christmas shopping yet or people that have just genuinely got a few little extra bits to buy i hope this gives you some inspo it is my ultimate gift guide for her so your sister your mom your grandma your niece um your auntie your girlfriend whoever it may be i feel like i've got all areas covered so yeah i'm not going to ramble in the intro of this video sit back relax grab yourself a coffee oh my god guys this coffee let me just tell you about this coffee i picked up some new um pods for my nespresso machine just thought i'd quickly share them with you just in case you guys have an espresso machine they're the starbucks holiday blend now i was on and running about getting these for the longest time because they're pricey you have to buy like i think six packs of them from amazon and i was like oh my god it's a lot of money i think it was like 29 pound but luckily for me i had run out of all of my coffee capsules and did need to do a big stock up so i just thought right i'm gonna get them they look unreal let's hope they taste unreal and they do honestly such a nice coffee so really recommend them and um, but right let's get into the video where are we gonna start so first up i'm gonna start with look fantastic so this part of the video is actually in collaboration with look fantastic so thank you so much to look fantastic for sponsoring this bit of the video and um, always blows my mind guys when i get to work with brands that i've been shopping from for years and years and years before i do get into sharing and showing you the stuff from look fantastic guys i do actually have a discount code so that makes this part of the video even more exciting because if you do see anything that you would like to get someone or even if you just need to have a little cheeky stock up of products for yourself um i do have a 20 percent discount code which is 20 Laura M. I'll leave it in the description box. So let's jump straight on in. First gift idea, Tangle Teaser. Oh my goodness, I cannot be without my Tangle Teaser. Girls, if you have long hair, wear your hair down in general, you'll probably relate in the fact that you always carry a brush around with you. Well, I know I certainly do anyway. I can't honestly go anywhere about my brush. Yeah, these Tangle Teasers are honestly brilliant. They're so cute. They come in so many different colors as well and have different designs. Um, so they're really aesthetically pleasing for one. But they're just really good little brushes as well. They're so compact so like i said they fit nicely in a handbag yeah i own a few of these this is like my fourth one i think but yeah they make a gorgeous little present next up we move on to laura mercier body and bath but if you guys have been here for a while you probably may know that i absolutely love the laura mercier body and body <laughs> body and bath range honestly it is so so unreal it, admittedly it is more higher end it's a higher end brand so it's a little bit more costly but the stuff is so good honestly i can't rave about it enough so one of my favorite products from the laura mercier body and bath range is the almond coconut body butter it's like a body cream body butter so if you know anyone that loves body butter a love sort of almond and coconutty scents i really really recommend it it isn't cheap it really isn't cheap but it is unreal so anyway i didn't get that to share with you but i picked up something else which i thought was really cute and would make a nice stocking filler and it is the creme brulee hand cream so this is a little bit more cheaper and more affordable um but equally do you know what i feel like you could just use this as a little body butter as well do you like a mini body butter um but yeah just had a little smell of this as well and it's so good i've never had the creme brulee scent oh it's just so like sweet and just gorgeous so yeah that is a laura mercier hand cream if you know anyone that likes hand cream um and also it's really aesthetically pleasing as well. It looks really like high end, doesn't it? The next thing I picked up was an Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Now, I've never actually tried this, but it had really good reviews on the website. And I always think sort of like pampering and skincare stuff always makes gorgeous presents because everyone loves a little bit of self-care and pampering. Um, and I know I would absolutely love a face mask, especially from a really nice brand. Um, so this is what it looks like really nice size um, and like i said this had really really good reviews on the look fantastic website as well okay 
Next, the next gift idea I picked up from Look Fantastic was none other than a perfume. Now, as you guys will probably be very aware of, perfume is expensive, especially the likes of Tom Ford. I mean, for a normal size Tom Ford bottle of perfume, you're looking around 80, 90 pound. It's not cheap. It's amazing, but it's not cheap. Um, so when I was having a little browse and look fantastic, I actually came across these little miniature Tom Ford perfume bottles. So they're perfect for like going away if you don't want to take a massive perfume. They do do men's as well. Um, and they're also perfect for ladies if you want to put them in your handbag. So yeah, so, so impressed with these. I think they're like 30 something pound full price, but my discount code actually works on these, which is insane. So you will actually be able to get this for with my discount code 28 pound 80 so a tom ford pair of you less than 30 pound honestly insane so i picked up the scent soleil blanc i don't know but i've seen everyone rave about this perfume so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it going in there blinded never ever smelt it now i'm not gonna lie this to me isn't really my scent i'm definitely much more of a sort of like i don't know i have two different sorts of like perfume preferences i either like a musky um sort of like tom ford black orchid smell that sort of like bit more manly, musky, but still sweet smell um, with like sort of like undertones of vanilla. Or I like quite sweet smells like the YSL Black Opium. So if this is your scent, £28.80 and they do the Black Orchid in these as well. And like I said, it's a really good size. Even though it's only 10 mil, I feel like you'll get a lot of use out of this. And yeah, it's just a nice way to give someone, you know, a luxury, expensive perfume, but at a more affordable price. So yeah, I really, really like that. Okay, next up, I'm just going to very quickly whiz through these. Um, a MAC lip liner and an Imani liquid lipstick. So this combo is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. So it is MAC stripped down lip liner. Honestly, if you know someone that wears lipstick, likes to overline their lips, this for me is the perfect lip liner ever. Like I said, it's in the shade Strip Down. I've been using this for years and years and years. Always repurchase it. It's my absolute fave. And then the lipstick that I'm actually wearing today, this is actually a newbie, but it looks very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Rising Star that I wear and adore. So I thought I'd get it and try it out. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit probably more moisturising and gives a little bit more of a shine than the Charlotte Tilbury. I say the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more matte, but I still absolutely adore this. Nice change from the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and the colour's probably a little bit more pinky. But um, anyway, it's in the shade 500, I believe. So it's the Lip Maestro, shade 500. Obviously, I will try and link all of this in the description bar. But yeah, it's what I've got on my lips today, just for reference. Okay, and the next thing I picked up makeup-wise was this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Kit. I absolutely adore Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Stuff. Brow products, that's what I'm trying to say. So in this, you get the Brow Wiz and the Mini Clear Brow Gel. And I use both of these on the daily. I really like the Brow Wiz because it's really... Just like it's a fine brow pencil and I don't like to do like heavily draw my brows on. I want to be able to do like fine strokes. So if you like to do your brows like this, this would be perfect. And then I also got, well, I mean you get in the little kit, um, the clear gel, which I like to use just to make sure all my hairs are in the right direction. Um, so it obviously works out cheaper to buy the kit and get both together. And it makes a super cute present as well. So that is everything I got gifted from the Look Fantastic team. Now onto my own order. So let me start off with my all time favorite face moisturizer for the day. And also I like to put it under foundation when I wear foundation. Believe it or not, today I've only got on um, concealer and bronzer again. I'm just loving not wearing foundation at the moment, guys, honestly. Anyway, and it is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have spoken about this so much. If you haven't tried it, try it. It is unreal. It just works so well under foundation. It allows your foundation to sit on all day. It gives you a really nice, like, dewy finish to your makeup as well. Um, and it's just super moisturizing too. So I really rate that. But then next up, I thought this was really cute. Um, and if you know your girlfriend or your friend uses the Real Technique, beauty blenders this would make a super cute little present um, and it is the real techniques beauty blender sponge but it actually comes with a case now i don't know about any of you guys but obviously using this daily and shoving it in your makeup bag it's not the most hygienic thing like i've always thought do you know what I mean? Just shoving it loose in your makeup bag. It's just not that hygienic. So they've actually brought out the beauty blender with a little case. So I just thought that was really good. So rather than you chucking it back into your makeup bag to get loads of bacteria and germs on, you can put it in a little case to keep it protected from all of your other stuff. Um, and yeah, I just thought that was really cute. So I picked up one of those. Okay. 
Okay, next thing I picked up, again, it's something that's probably not going to be the easiest thing to buy someone for Christmas unless you know what sort of blusher they like. But it is a MAC blusher. Um, I absolutely love the MAC blushers. I feel like they're really pigmented. Uh, they just work really well. So I got two completely different shades. So first shade I got was Pink Swoon. Um, so it looks really bright. I know it looks so bright in the palette. But you literally only need a little bit and just gives you like a really nice pink flush to your cheeks. I just, yeah, I love this colour. Um, but then I also got the Burnt Pepper. So if you like more of a sort of like rose, like a deeper red colour, almost like that sun-kissed like tan colour, um, this will be the one for you. So as you can see the colour, I absolutely love this one. I mean, I love both of them. So as you can see, there's such a big difference with both colours that I go for. But yeah, I wear this when I want to look sort of like really sun-kissed. So really nice for holiday. But then equally... This one's just so nice as well. I don't know, I love them both. So yeah, there's some blushes that I recommend. Okay, so moving on to other gift ideas now for her. So I actually went and had a little look at our stuff because obviously with this year, not everyone's going out doing like a full Christmas shop in town and going to shopping centers and stuff, but you know, you can always nip to your local Asda. So they actually have some really lovely things in. The first thing I picked up, which I thought would make a gorgeous present, this was around about the 24 pound mark for both you don't have to get both you could get one or the other the first idea was to get some lovely gin glasses and some little miniature gins so this is obviously perfect for the gin lover someone that loves themselves a little gin so for the gins i picked up this miniature pink gin collection this looks so pretty and uh, so you have wild berry gin rhubarb no not rhubarb sorry plum and vanilla raspberry gin and pink gin just think that's such a cute little miniature set so I believe this was around about £10. And then to go with that, I picked up some chunky gin glasses. As you can see from the picture, they're just really stunning and different gin glasses. So they've got like gold here. And then, um, yeah, they just go into a really nice rounded glass there. So I just thought that would be such a lovely little present for someone if you're spending around the £25 mark. And then also from Asda, uh, I also just had a look in the candle and the reed diffuser section and they actually do some really nice reed diffusers. I believe this was only around like three to four pound and it's called Midnight Orchid. And sorry, but how expensive does this look? Four pound, let's say, for a reed diffuser that's really smart looking, would look so nice on a coffee table. And if someone's quite hard to buy for, but you know they like the home, you know they like the candles and reed diffusers, I always think you can't go wrong with something like that. And then something else I found in Asda was this little hot water bottle. I love hot water bottles. Honestly, in the cold months, I take a hot water bottle bed every night or I sit on the sofa watching TV with a hot water bottle. I mean, I have the heating on, but there's just nothing... And there's nothing crazy than actually having a hot water bottle to snuggle up to. And I thought this one for £4 was just such good quality. It is so super soft. It's that hot water bottle that just feels amazing to touch. And yeah, I just thought this would make a really cute gift, stocking filler, just a little extra for someone. So yeah, I grabbed that too. Okay, so that is everything from Asda. Next thing I'm going to show you, this is actually quite random. I actually picked these up for me and Mitchell the other day, but I thought I would include them in this gift guide because it'd actually make a really nice present. So for this present, it could be something that a guy buys his girlfriend, you could buy um, a couple, and it is like his and hers mugs. So this one says mine, this one says yours. They're just real simple mugs, but they just look so nice, really good quality. They're actually bone china as well, and I don't know if anyone relates to this, but drinking tea out of bone china mugs is so different to like a normal mug. Does anyone else relate to me when I say that? So yeah, I love a bone china mug. And yeah, you guys already know, but I blooming love a mug. I love mugs so much. Um, and I think matching his and hers mugs is always a cute gift. And like I said, if you're buying for a couple and don't really know what to get them, you can't go wrong with them either. Okay, next thing I've got to show you is actually from a brand called Kate Somerville. Um, they actually very kindly sent me over this. So I just wanted to share this with you um, because they've got some Christmas gift sets out which are so cute, like the packaging. <laughs> is so stunning so let me open this up so this is what it looks like with the ribbon off and then it opens up like that oh my god this is really nice wow and then it comes in a pouch like this this skincare stuff is actually supposed to be really good i've never ever tried it so i'm so excited to try this oh wow these look stunning so in this gift set you get an intensive exfoliating treatment everything is so nicely packaged by the way you get a wrinkle warrior advanced hydrating plumping treatment oh wow that sounds amazing looks like that again really cute packaging 
And then the last thing we have is goat milk moisturising cleanser. And it looks like that. So, just like little mini skincare bits. But wow, the packaging of this is so nice. You could actually like reuse this as a little toiletry bag. But this gift set retails at £34 on Court Beauty. There are different ones um, available as well in case you didn't want this one and wanted different products inside. So yeah, definitely check it out. Yeah, like I said, I've never tried Kate Somerville, but it seems like a really nice high-end brand. And like I said, the packaging on this is absolutely unreal. So again, if you know someone that likes skincare and loves trying out new brands, then this would definitely be a really lovely present. Let me move on now to something that really excites me more than anything. So of course, the next thing I'm going to be sharing with you is pyjamas, but not any old pyjamas guys. These pyjamas are ultimate luxury pyjamas and honestly if I was gifted this at Christmas I'd be so over the moon. So it's actually from a business called Sleeping Looks. The girl actually reached out to me on Instagram and asked if she could send me these. So thank you so much for sending me these. I did obviously just want to make clear that this was gifted. But if you love pyjamas then please support her business and have a look at hers because first of all can we just appreciate this box it came in. Obviously it was all tied in a gorgeous bow but I have just opened it. Um, and then and if we open up the box, it all comes beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. So she sent me over two pairs of pajamas. They are gorgeous silk pajamas as well. So really luxurious and I adore silk pajamas. They're my favorite things to wear. So we have this gorgeous pair to begin with. It's in what I would describe as like a champagne color. Um, it's got this gorgeous like black piping around. Honestly, this feels incredible. The quality of this is insane. Um, so yeah, that's the top and it's long sleeve as well, which I really, really like. And then to go with, we have the matching bottoms, which again, feel so incredibly soft. And then she also sent me a second set, um, which actually comes with a little bag. And inside there's a little hair bubble and eye mask. And what do we have here for pajamas? Oh wow, it's like a, is it like a five piece set or something? With this set, there's a long sleeve pajama top, gorgeous. Um, we then have a little pair of shorts and uh, there is also long bottoms as well. Oh god So you can really like mix and match your pajamas um, and then there's also a little cami top So yeah, those are the pajamas from sleeping logs. Honestly, they are so incredibly stunning And I love the fact they come in a gorgeous gift box too. Okay guys next up We move on to a brand called Locketine. I'm pretty sure you guys may be familiar with this brand It is that brand that when you're in a shopping center you walk past their shop and it just screams like luxury skincare, body care. It's just one of those really lovely shops to go in and have a look at and have a smell of all their stuff. So I've got a few different gift sets that I wanted to share with you. Again, I just want to put a disclaimer that I did get very kindly gifted this, which it just blows my mind. I was in Locutane last year buying presents for other people. But to be getting gifted all of these, like I've just been happy with one, never mind all of these. So I'm gonna show you a few of the gift sets for her. They do do men's as well, um, but obviously this is a gift guide for her. So firstly, if you guys are familiar with Locutane, you'll know that that brand that takes a lot of care and attention to detail with their brand. So everything always comes gorgeously wrapped. We've got a lovely bow on, it's in a gift box, and it's tissue paper and wrapped up inside. So the first gift set is a skincare gift set. So so perfect for someone that likes skincare. I feel like I'm showing you a lot of skincare in here, guys, but I mean, you can never go wrong. And you get all different bits and bobs in here. It comes in a lovely tin as well. And then, like I said, it's wrapped also in a beautiful gift box. Okay, so the next gift set that I wanted to share and show you from Locketane would make a perfect stocking filler. Or if you're not looking to spend too much on someone, this would be perfect too. So again, it comes gorgeously wrapped. I've got a little sticker there, so it's all nicely wrapped for you. And then inside, we have this gorgeous sort of like tree hanging stocking filler. Um, so this is what it looks like. They do all different variations of these, by the way, um, in different scents. So I have got the cherry blossom one. So you get a hand cream, bath and shower gel, and shimmering lotion. So these are just little minis. But they are so, so incredibly stunning. And like I said, just so nicely packaged too. And then we also have the Locutane Body Care Almond Smoothing and Firming gift set. Um, I feel like this is one of their best sellers in like fragrances. So inside this gift set, you get four things. So you get the almond shower oil. I feel like this would be a very me scent. I love like almond and coconut and scents like that. Um, you also get one of their hand creams, which by the way, are so insane. They're so moisturizing. Um, you also get a little soap. And then you also get a smoothing milk concentrate beautifying, I think this is a body cream. Let's have a little look. Oh my God, guys. I'm wanting to have a little sniff of this almond milk. Um, it's like a body cream, I believe. But obviously it's got like a wrapper on the top. But just going like that, 
I can get the almond through. Oh my God, it smells so good. I feel like this would definitely be one of my go-to scents um, from Locatine. So yeah, definitely check out their almond range because it smells lemon unreal. So yeah, those are the bits from Locatine. Um, definitely have a little look on their website because I just feel like you can never go wrong with Locatine. Okay, next we move on to chocolate because I mean, let's be real, you can't go wrong with chocolate at Christmas. And especially if you're just looking to spend like 10, 15 pounds on someone, you don't really know what to get them, but you just want to give them a little something. I always think you can't go wrong with just a nice box of chocolate. So I've actually ordered these at my own money. Um, I actually got this as part of a deal on Hotel Chocolate a few weeks ago. I was just randomly on the website and it flashed up like, buy this hamper set um, for like 20 pound off today. So it should have been like 55 pound or something. And I got it for like 35 pound. I was like, I'm getting that. Okay, so in regards to boxes of chocolates, the ones that I would recommend are called H-Box. So these are 12 95 There's two different variations, I believe. There might, actually, there might be another variation, but these are the two that um, I've tried. So first one is the Classic Christmas. I feel like the Classic Christmas is just one that's a fail-safe one for everyone. Like, there would definitely be a chocolate in here that the person likes. That's the sort of box it is. So there's a variation of truffles, caramels, pralines, and more. You get 15, and it's just the cutest little Christmas gift wrapped chocolate box next up i have the winter puddings one so this box of chocolates actually inspired by cake so you've got cookies crumbles and more and it's not got alcohol in so they're not um alcoholic ones but just to give you an idea of what you can expect in here um you have chocolates such as carrot cake brownie cinnamon bun mousse or chocolate orange chocolate pot caramelized biscuit peanut butter cookie oh actually these sound really nice um so yeah both of these boxes i would recommend and uh, like i said they're 12.95 and then the last few things i just thought i'd quickly show you from hotel chocolate like i said this just came in my um gift box thing that i ordered from there randomly and um, but like i said i'm just gonna break this up and give it to people alongside their christmas presents or if i just want to give someone a little something they'll make cute presents and um, so they do these little solid white chocolate reindeers these are super cute and um, they also do like jolly penguins milk chocolate ones like this maybe cute for kids or someone that likes penguins and then i've just got a few little milk chocolate buttons oh they also do these little mini sort of like chocolate boxes with four little truffles in and um, and yeah that's about it it's just like little random bits in the bottom but I just thought i would share them chocolates because i love hotel chocolate and um i always think they make quite luxury chocolate presents if that makes sense Okay, next up for the gift ideas, I have something that's definitely more of a main present, higher end of a budget, um, but wanted to include both of these things because I absolutely adore them, and they are my two go-to hairstyling tools um, from GHD. So, first up, my curler. I really wanted to include this because I always get so many questions when I curl my hair, what curler I use, and honestly, this GHD Curve Waver, I think it's called, is the best. It is the best. Like, my curls stay in all day. Before this, I was using another styling tool, and... Do you know since I've switched, it's one of them things that when you switch to it, you can't ever go back to the other tool you're using because you realise how good something like this is. So um, it is obviously a little bit pricey for a curler, but if you love curling your hair and want curls that end up dropping to really nice waves, they stay in. Like genuinely, when I curl my hair with this, I don't have to top it up the next day. I mean, I can if I want, but they stay in for days on end. So yeah, it really does stand out compared to other curlers that I've tried before. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to share with you from GHD is the GHD hair straightener. Honestly, GHD hair straighteners have been my go-to for years and years and years. And every year they release sort of like a limited edition one at Christmas. Um, I believe this is the Wish Upon a Star range. So it is a limited edition, so it's not going to be around forever. But comes in this gorgeous gift box. It's blue. It's got these little stars on here. And then if you open it up, we have the gorgeous limited edition strainer inside. So it's like a iridescent white. It is so incredibly stunning and beautiful. For me, GHD hair straighteners are hands down the best. In my opinion, you'll never find a better straightener. I always feel like when I straighten my hair with GHD, um, it always looks super glossy, shiny. It stays poker straight all day. Um, and it's just one of them hair straighteners as well that just glides for your hair again really worth the money an investment hair styling tool um and yet also comes in this insane packaging too okay moving on to some more makeup just because i always feel like makeup is a good thing to gift a lot of girls love makeup um so if you are looking for a few more treats makeup wise then these could be the ones so first up let's start with charlotte tilbury my absolute hands down favorite brand ever i use so much charlotte tilbury in my makeup bag it's not even normal and um, pretty much i say like 90 percent of my makeup is charlotte tilbury so i thought I just show you these two items because I absolutely love these at the moment. I mean, I always love this. This is like my number one lipstick ever. And this is probably what I wear most
those days and it is the hollywood lips matte contour liquid lipstick in rising star i always get so many questions about what lipstick i wear this is the one normally every single day so yeah and also i just want to quickly show you the packaging on these they're just always like rose gold and stunning they look luxury i mean they're not the cheapest items of makeup but they are worth every single penny um, and i also just want to show you the bronzing palette i mean i am using this at the moment so it is you know not in the best state but if you're looking for a good bronzer or you know like your girlfriend your sister your friend's looking for a good bronzer i really recommend this one obviously they do all different shades what shades what shade is mine i don't even know if it says it um but yeah it is a massive palette like, i think this bronzer is quite pricey but as you can see how big this is compared to my hand like it's the biggest bronzer ever um and you get a big pan inside and i also believe these are refillable so you can actually buy refillable pans to put inside it so i think that's a really good thing that they do too once i know what shade it is i'll leave that because that's the one that i use like every day i mean you're not even going to be able to see what bronzer i've got on today because this lighting literally washes me out so much um, and then another bronzer i wanted to recommend this is what i wear when i'm just wearing concealer and bronzer and it is the chanel bronzer so this is perfect if you are a minimal makeup sort of gal that just likes to in the morning dash a little bit bronzer on dash a little bit of i don't know why i'm saying dash <laughs> dash a little bit of bronzer dash a little bit of um concealer this is the one it's like a creamy bronzer so just get a brush just put a bit on your cheeks just to give you a little bit of glow a little bit of warmth into your skin as you can see i am nearly at the end of this so i need to order another one um but yeah hands down these are both like my favorite bronzers ever so just thought i'd share them too okay so moving on to the last few bits we are nearing the end i feel like there's so much in this haul um but yeah anyway hope you're enjoying it next thing i wanted to show you gift wise is a dressing gown um, i'll show you the pajamas so now i just want to show you a really cute dressing gown that i picked up from pretty little thing um, and it is this gorgeous little penguin one so obviously you can get dressing gowns from anywhere you could go on the white company and get a luxury one if you wanted you could go to primark and get a more affordable one um, and to be honest with you pretty little things really affordable too but i come across this little penguin one i just thought it was so cute so yeah that is another gift idea Okay, next we move on to a few things from Von Chef. Um, so the website, I believe, is Von Horse. Von House? Von House? I don't even know how to say it. Von, and then it's H-A-U-S. Anyway, that is the website. And we'll obviously leave all the details in the description bar. Um, but they, again, so kindly sent me over a few things to share with you. So with these presents, I feel like these are really good ideas for people that you just don't have a clue about. Like, do you think people that just have everything? You're not too sure. Um, so first up, I have these cute little sort of like cocktail cups, I'm going to call them. So if you know someone likes a little cheeky cocktail, these would make stunning presents. They almost remind me of, do you know in Turtle Bay how you get these sort of like tin cups i don't know they're just really cute so they're these little gold like quilted cups yeah you get two they are called set of two stemless glasses um but yeah i just thought they were really like aesthetically pleasing and like i said if you know someone that likes a little drink likes a cocktail or just loves homeware stuff they would be insane uh, next up i've got a cheese board i actually think this is such a good present i would love being gifted a cheese board because it's just one of them things that you don't really think about buying so yeah i mean like i said i would love to be gifted this because i love hosting parties i mean in times before coronavirus um so yeah anyway let me just show you the cheese board so it is this round cheese board so it might look pretty standard but let me show you you actually get to lift the top up so you can use this as an extra board so you've got a black slate board so you can put like all your hams and stuff on that then you could put all your cheeses on this and then underneath wait it pulls out somewhere you then get all of your knives and serving tools for your cheeses so i just think that is so so cute such a nice gift idea and then the next thing i got from bon chef we have another sort of gin set i know i've already shown you some gin glasses but this comes in a really nice gift set so it's a real like luxury gin set um and if i open it up oh my god i thought i nearly smashed my glass then so this is what you get inside of the gin set so two gorgeous sunning glasses how nice those gin glasses a little sort of like measuring shot cup and then you also get this gorgeous mixing spoon and it's all in like rose gold as well so that is so so stunning okay moving on to the last thing i got from von chef now this probably is going to seem pretty random but i actually think it's a really good idea again if you're struggling to buy someone something 
but they're a coffee lover or a hot chocolate lover and it is a milk frother so obviously with most coffee machines you don't always get like a milk frother bit unless it's like a posh one like for example with mine it was expensive enough it does actually come with its own milk frother section on the coffee machine but i know not all coffee machines do that so if you don't have a milk frother section on your coffee machine or know someone that just doesn't have a coffee machine in general you could just get them a milk frother so they can make their coffee as normal and then instead of just adding normal milk into the coffee they can then put their milk into the milk frother and then it will then allow them to create like a cappuccino a latte a nice frothy coffee or even a nice luxury hot chocolate so a hot chocolate with frothy you know like thick foamy milk oh my god honestly i never ever make hot chocolates about my um, milk frother on my coffee machine now so yeah i just thought this would be a really nice gift idea not something that you always think of yeah like i said if you're really struggling for someone but know they love a nice frothy coffee a nice hot chocolate you could get them this then you could get them a nice mug to go with it um their favorite hot chocolate so their favorite coffee so yeah that is that and they're really inexpensive as well like in comparison to buying you know a full coffee machine or whatever so yeah that is the last thing i got from von chef okay so moving on to the last thing that i have to share and show you so i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get this anymore um but i want to show you anyway just in case you can track this down and it is a bottle of gin i love a gin i don't know if anyone else does um, and anyway m and s this year released these gorgeous like limited edition gin bottles let me show you how cute these are look it lights up how stunning is this gin so i just thought if you know someone likes a gin you could get them this special gin bottle that lights up it is so pretty and also when you shake it it has like gold flakes inside so it literally looks like a snow globe like a light up snow globe so yeah i just thought i'd share that with you just in case you can still get your hands on these in m &S. i'm pretty sure they're probably going to be sold out everywhere um but this is the rhubarb gin liqueur as well um, and yeah, like I said, if you know a gin lover, I just think this would make a really gorgeous present. And like I said, it's just a little bit different to a normal bottle of gin. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I feel like I haven't stopped talking. I'm getting a bit of a dry mouth now. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this gift guide and it has helped and given you some last minute gift ideas for her. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe if you are new here. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.